Mountain couple says they survived a terrifying confrontation with their neighbors. Police tell us the suspects were on synthetic cocaine, paranoid, and firing guns into the air. Today, those neighbors explained to Eyewitness News reporter Ken Lemon exactly how they walked away safely. People on Southbrook Drive said they finally got peace when their neighbors were arrested this morning. They were delusional. They, were, they really thought somebody was out to kill them. Police say Donna and Philip Walls were high on bath salts yesterday. Donna Walls called 911 and said gang members were after them. But there are people under our house. They were there yesterday. Under our house. Neighbors say the couple came outside with a military bag full of weapons. Swinging guns around, falling around like wild animals. They say Donna Walls fired seven shots in the air. Neighbors say there were children outside at the time. And they're shooting, and I don't know what's wrong with them. The Walls then ran across the street to the Robinsons' home. But they just knocked on the glass door. You Police know. say they forced their way inside. Because I knew if they ran to me, they needed help. Pastor Richard Robinson said he knew God would protect him. I was a little afraid, don't get me wrong, but even in that state of mind, it, he had enough presence to ask me to pray for him. The pastor asked for the weapons, telling the couple, You're in my house, you know you're safe, ain't nobody gonna hurt you, just give me the gun. The couple turned their guns over to the pastor. Police say they've been to the Walls house before. They tell us the couple has a history of using bath salts, but this is the first time their drug use became dangerous to others. They spent the night in the hospital before going to jail. Some neighbors tell us they hope the courts will keep the Walls from returning home. They go before a judge in district court tomorrow. That judge can limit where they live, who they see, where they go, if they make bond. In Gaston County, I'm Ken Lemon, Channel 9 Eyewitness News.